Exciting event in the D tonight, and we've got a preview. Uh, it's a launch party tonight for a new book showcasing a Detroit gem, the Detroit Public Library. That's right. Look at that. And that you nice. can take part. How about that? We are joined by the co-authors Barbara Cohen and Patrice Merritt. Good Thank to you see for you. Being here. Thank you for having Thank us. You. May I see the book, please? I'd love to look at it while you guys. So are. inside the library are so many great treasures. Is that what inspired you? What is your inspiration for writing this? So in 2013, we started a brand new art and architecture tour called Discover the Wonders. Okay. And over 7,000 people have come through. And at the end of tours, people ask us, do you have a book? Do you have a book on the building, on the art? So that was really our inspiration, the public. Yeah. Well, I have pictures. taken one of those tours, <laughs> and the library is glorious. So it makes perfect sense that someone would want to take home a book put it on the coffee yeah. table, like, look what I saw. And I mean, these photographs are, are gorgeous, but it's even more gorgeous when you go inside and experience it, look right? At, look at the archways, and then, and then filled with other Detroit treasures like Powabic Tile, right? So many great architects right. involved and the artists. Just, oh, exquisite. Yeah. That's Powabic, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Powabic fireplace. Ten different storybook tiles. Oh, you're seeing some close-ups there. The details, yeah. beautiful. I and the it. ceilings like you would find uh, anywhere in the world, the greatest, right? Like, I'd like uh, to say it's a, a library and a museum environment. Thank oh, that's a very nice way of putting it. I really <laughs> dig these sliding wooden doors with here right on this side of the screen. These are uh, double sliders right here. Um, what room is that? That was the music room originally. Cass Gilbert, the architect, put in many pocket doors throughout the building. But in the music room, he did double-tracked pocket doors because live performances used to occur in the library. So as not to disturb other guests of the wow. library, he had cork floors as well as the double pocket doors to minimize the sound that would emanate from that room. Very cool. And when you do take a tour, it does feel like you're on a museum tour as, as everything in the, in the building is explained to you. But let's talk about why libraries are important for the community. Well, you know, people always ask us that question as they tour this beautiful building and say, well, you know, I have my handheld device and I have whatever. Mm -hmm. and We've, we've, as I'm a librarian by training, and I always feel that today people still access information, but they simply access it differently. Mm -hmm. So whereas you used to physically have to come to the library, you may not have to physically come, but you do because we have other things such as computer training. We have other means of allowing you to learn how mm -hmm. to access information. So tell us more about the event tonight. The event tonight is from 6 to 8 p.m. at the library, and it's free, open to the public. And we'll have books there that can be purchased. Wayne State University Press published the book. So they'll Wonderful. be there. And we hope, we hope the public comes. We think they're going to enjoy the evening. We're going to have docents in the different rooms so people can stroll on their own and learn about the art and architecture. Good to see you. Much Thank success you so with much. it. Thank yeah, so thanks much. for coming by this morning. Thank, Thank you so much. Awesome.